Digital therapeutics are entering the mainstream. That's the conclusion of Juniper Research's latest analysis of the digital therapeutics market. Digital therapeutics platforms use data analytics and artificial intelligence to collect and analyze patients' health data in real time. The number of people using digital therapeutics to manage chronic conditions is set to rise 380% globally over the next four years. From 30 million patients in 2022 to over 140 million by 2026. This represents a massive jump in adoption, one of the biggest across the healthcare segments that Juniper monitors. However, when you break these numbers down, an issue appears. Of the 30 million people using digital therapeutics in 2022, the vast majority, almost 19 million, are using systems funded by public health organizations or universal healthcare providers, which makes sense. Each of these groups provides healthcare to millions of people, so it's in their best interests to build relationships with vendors for innovative technologies that can provide high quality chronic care at scale. However, it's a different story when you look at the number of patients using digital therapeutics funded by private insurers. Only 5 million out of 30 million. That's a surprising gulf, especially considering that the needs of private insurers aren't so different from those of public health payers. And, indeed, the profit-driven nature of the private health insurance business means that there's more impetus to invest in cutting-edge solutions, particularly those that can reduce patients' care costs over the long term. The suggestion here, then, is that partnerships simply aren't being built between private insurers and digital therapeutics vendors. And that's a major problem for the future of the industry. If insurers aren't interested in digital therapeutics, how can vendors possibly gain traction in healthcare markets where private insurance dominates? Like the US, where over 65% of the population is covered by private insurance. It's understandable why insurers may be hesitant to adopt digital therapeutics. After all, why risk investing in nascent technologies like these when more proven solutions exist? However, digital therapeutics promise a new healthcare delivery model, one that prioritizes proactive rather than reactive treatment of chronic conditions. Insurers can ill afford to ignore this shift and vendors will need to demonstrate flexibility and ingenuity to achieve buy-in. Indeed, our research suggests several strategies including adopting reimbursement models built around actual, not potential results. Models that in effect limit insurers' financial exposure. These new arrangements may take time to coalesce. But Juniper Research believes that insurers will fully embrace digital therapeutics by 2026. A move that stands not only to generate billions in revenue for vendors, but improve the lives of over 40 million chronic patients worldwide. Juniper Research provides analyst reports, consultancy services, and industry commentary to the biggest players in the digital technology space. For more insights on digital therapeutics, download our free report at juniperresearch.com.